1947, a rather unusual experiment took place at a Hampshire airfield. The results started a line of research that has helped keep Britain in the forefront of modern aviation. On board, a crew member nursed a balsa wood version of the schoolboy's paper dart. 500 feet below, a group of in watch. Twenty years later, that skydiving wooden dart had turned into this. Mighty Concorde, the world's first supersonic airliner. I came to work in aerodynamics department here at RE Farnborough in this building in 1956 and uh, about six months after I started the supersonic transport aircraft committee was set up which was the beginnings of Concorde. A new aerodynamic problem for civil airliners. Shockwaves. A Schlieren film records the shockwave formation at supersonic speeds and work had been going on in aerodynamics department to sort out what sort of shapes could be efficiently used uh, and the slender delta was uh, chosen as the way that might be able to cope with supersonic transport for carrying passengers but one of the difficulties was that at uh, low speed, the sort of speeds that you needed to come in to land the aircraft would go into an unstable um, rock one of the experimental methods that was used to investigate this was actually an experimental aircraft which was called the Handy Page 115. One of the highlights for me is actually standing on the top of 141 building here and seeing the Handy Page 115 fly in from RE Bedford uh, to one of the um, air displays where it was going to actually demonstrate this uh, oscillatory motion as it went down the wrong way. That was really uh, quite a special day uh, for lots of us, I think, to actually see all the theoretical work that we've been doing coming into uh, fruition. One of the things we did uh, was to suggest that the ferry delta be modified to a Concorde shape wing so that we could look at both the stability in the transonic and supersonic range of an ojive uh, wing with these highly strong vortices during uh, manoeuvring to ensure that there were no uh, totally unsuspected control problems. This aircraft has a slender delta platform similar to Concorde's. It's being used by the Royal Aircraft Establishment for the study of slender delta aerodynamics and handling at subsonic, transonic and supersonic speeds. Because of the completely different task it will have to perform compared with all previous airliners, Concorde's flight problems have been more fully researched than any previous aircraft in history. The Concorde was, was a wholly new concept in the 1960s. Fly a Mark II with over 100 passengers on board.